All right, uh, hello all. This is a quick look at the latest Ubuntu release, uh, the Unity Edition uh, 16.04 long-term support. And uh, I just I'll get the elephant in the room out of the way. Um, yes, you can move the dashboard to the bottom. Uh, you have to install Dconf Editor. Uh, you can get that through the Software Center. Once you have that installed, uh, just in your dash, look, look for Dconf and Control F and search for something like Launcher. And uh, it's a little sluggish sometimes uh, because of the virtual box. So just uh, there we go. It says Launcher Precision. You have two choices, left or bottom. So you choose bottom, and that's it. Close the editor and maybe make the launcher at the bottom a little smaller or so and there you go you now have unity bar or whatever it's called uh, at the bottom and there's an uh, assortment of new backgrounds as i said it's a little slow in uh, virtual box uh, i guess the i guess the guest editions aren't quite caught up so if you want if you wanted to okay um, you could uh, set set it through here, desktop wallpaper, if you wish. Just right click and set as wallpaper. It'll come up with a message and there you go. Of course, the software center has been updated to uh, basically GNOME software center. If you use GNOME and, and other distributions, this probably looks fairly familiar to you. It is titled Ubuntu software center, but it is basically GNOME. And I was going through this uh, uh, yesterday and looking through uh, some stuff and was able to remove a lot of programs and utilities that I don't use so it serves its purpose. It's a little slow uh, installing and removing and it doesn't really, same thing, it doesn't really give you much information on what it's doing. I prefer the command line uh, way of installing stuff but this for all intents and purposes is fine. Like you see there's Chromium here. VLC player and all the usual suspects and then uh, you can look for Mate or Mate. I installed the system monitor and go to dash monitor. There's the uh, default Ubuntu one and then there's the Mate one. Okay so just uh, just to see if you, I could do it or whatever. Um, and system, what happened? Oh yes, what's going on with that? It says Batman desktop <laughs> and Batman help. Okay, uh, that's really simple to do if you wanted to do that kind of silly thing. Um, there it is. Just type in sudo. I'm gonna. I just use nano usr slash usr slash lib slash os dash release and replace ubuntu with anything you want in the quotes and here everything else are left the same and that's it and if you change it um you have to log in log out and log back in and you get this <laughs> under uh security and privacy and system settings uh default search is not to include online results and everything else is basically the same I untick this because it's no not much sense to setting virtual box data to for diagnostics or anything but as you can see it's basically the same controls uh, setting center we've had for a while and Firefox that's always included is at 45.0.2 and the usual assortment, I believe, of add-ons, uh, extensions, uh, Ubuntu modifications, appearance, plugins, language, disable. And uh, restart Firefox a couple of times and you get back to the default Firefox um, start page just by removing those. If you want to, again, if that's, uh, you know, your preference. And uh, the assortment of applications, you can look through the user share applications. Uh, so if you wanted something like uh, the startup or the mate system monitor, just simply copy its desktop uh, file 
to your home folder. So I'll say that Nate session properties. You just do a copy and control shift V to paste or just right click and paste to dot local. Oh, sorry, have to be your full class there. Your username dot local share app terminal nano dot local share applications mate mate session not desktop page all the way down to the bottom where it has only showing a mate just press control k and that's good enough write that out and exit let me see oops wrong button start up oh there it goes so you can also uh, change that and make it to say no show but so start up applications and interesting enough uh, parcel it clipboard manager is installing and as usual it's not showing up in anywhere in the task bar if i launch it it will and then you can uh your preferences and so on so i'm not sure what's going on with that and i think i'm going to wrap this up because there isn't much else i can uh really say without having this on my main system is a command you can use you can find it anywhere uh g settings set the background if you uh bind that to a, a keyboard combination you can change the background with a keyboard uh, so if you run it in the terminal and press enter as you can see in the background it's changing the background of course you can put the uh, path where it has file to anywhere you wish and have your own wallpaper uh, slideshow so I would uh, you could uh, save this as a script so what in the world oh, yeah, I keep forgetting save as your home wall dot sh uh, and maybe declare Uh, the bin bash and save close and go to your home folder was it alt home no whatever okay let's just open the home folder properties permissions allow executing okay so you can test out your script wall there you go. So let's uh, fire up uh, a keyboard. There it is. Shortcuts, custom, wall, paper, uh, home, slash uh, username, oops, slash wall dot sh apply. And I usually use uh, Control Alt and Slash. Okay, let's see if that works then. Yep, hitting the keyboard. All right, so that should wrap this one up. I know there's tons and tons of videos on Ubuntu 16.04, so just a, a quick overview. It's not a review. It wouldn't be fair to, to say so because it's not on my system and I haven't used it long enough. So that should do it for this one, and thank you so very much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.